Yo, what is going on guys? This is me, Poram, and welcome back to a brand new video. So lately guys, uh, on Twitter, uh, I'm sorry I didn't stream Tuesday, and on Twitter, you guys were asking me to do a live stream on the new maps to see how I think of them and what I personally think about the new maps and how they play and everything like that and like what, am, what was I really looking forward to the most with these maps and everything like that. So... We're gonna, I'm just going to be sort of giving my opinion and everything like that about the new maps, how they play, what I think of them, and overall, how is this going to affect the community and what is it going to do. So, first off, we're going to start off by saying uh, this map, like this entire variety map pack, guys, has pretty much brought new life into Call of Duty once again. Uh, a lot of people are going to buy them, a lot of people aren't. Uh, I'm really not a big fan of how you had to buy them for how much the price was really wasn't a fan of that at all but man you can do you can only do so much you really can and unfortunately uh, this was a battle that we lost so unfortunately if you guys don't want to pay $14.99 for it you definitely don't have to uh, just it's absolutely crazy man that they actually did that but overall, man, how do these maps play out? Uh, from 2008 or 2009, whenever the maps actually came out, uh, the maps played really well. Going back and playing it in 2017, it feels like the maps play a little bit different, but that's just because of the way the games actually changed. Uh, Call of Duty has changed a lot. People got so much better and progressed over the years. So of course the maps are gonna play a little bit different, but overall, what do I think of the maps and how, like, do I think that they're good? Should you buy them? Uh, my opinion is, man, I think the maps are really well. The maps are really good. They're decent, uh, just, I don't agree with the price. I think if you guys are really big Call of Duty fans and you want to play something new, if you guys haven't, I definitely recommend you guys get these maps. Uh, just because it's something new, it's something different. But if you don't, if you don't agree with what Call of Duty is doing, don't get it. I mean, you don't have to by any means, but it is just an option. So, with that being said, uh, what was I really looking forward the most to or for this map pack? man to go off that question i was really just looking forward something to get call of duty uh, sort of fun again call of duty really hasn't been that fun for the couple of months just because it gets so boring and sickening to place the same 16 maps over and over and over again and i think it just got repetitive and i just didn't like it i really wasn't having fun with the game that's why i stopped the grind for 20th prestige and even for me like trying to play shipment and stuff like that it gets boring playing the same map man and that's pretty much how i always think of it and with this year of call of duty having two games i was playing infinite warfare a little bit for just fun and i really did have fun playing different games so overall i mean you got 32 maps between each call of duty uh so i really do have fun uh with all the games uh, finally, uh, you know, what, what is this going to bring from the community and how is the community going to respond? Uh, my thing with the community, man, is I think the community is really going to be separated now just because a lot of people are not buying the map packs, which I understand. I completely understand it and I get it. I don't blame anyone for not buying the map packs. Uh, how is this gonna affect me as a youtuber is when I do my streams if I play hide and seek on them uh, A lot of my subscribers probably aren't gonna have the you know The map pack so yeah, it's gonna hurt me a little bit uh, The community is definitely gonna be separated because you're gonna have some people that have the map some people who don't So I definitely think they should bring that feature that they had in modern warfare 3 when you can disable all the maps uh, That was definitely a great feature so I definitely recommend them bringing that back. So if you do have the maps and you don't really want to, uh, you know, go for it or stuff like that or play them, I definitely recommend that they should probably bring that back. Uh, it just seems better off that they bring it back. And 
you know, the people who bought the maps and who didn't can actually play together still once this game either gets old from 2017 caught or whatever it is. But that is my overall opinion. I really don't have that much more to say about this. Uh, like I said, man, the map packs are really fun. I think it brought a lot of new life in a Call of Duty. Uh, it's really up to you guys if you guys get the map packs or not. But like I said, man, it's really up to you guys. You just got to know how you feel and the way that you stand with Call of Duty. Uh, but overall, man, that is my overall opinion of what the community, with the maps, how they play, everything like that. Uh, but overall, man, I'm glad I got these maps. Not really happy how they charge me $15 for it. But hey, you lose some, you win some. And unfortunately, this one I lost. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. Uh, this is just me giving my opinion on how Call of Duty is right now and how I think the maps play. Uh, I will probably be doing a stream tomorrow evening at like 3, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel for that if you guys want more content. Make sure you guys subscribe and also hit the like button on this video. Share it with your friends. Let them know, you know, for them or whatever <laughs> whatever you guys want to do get my channel out there i'd really appreciate that guys and i want to say thank you guys so much for 29,000 subscribers it's absolutely crazy how much we came and how far we've come from day one i can't begin to thank you guys enough you guys are the absolute best subscribers ever and on youtube you guys are the true mvps and i really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me uh spending your time with me and also leaving your comments and letting me know what i can do better i really do appreciate all the feedback and yeah so this is gonna wrap up today's video you guys if you guys didn't enjoy it make sure to drop a like and also subscribe but with all of that being said guys this has been me for him later guys